Hello everybody, it's Carl here from The Vinyl Guys. Today we're going to be looking at the process of doing a print, laminate and cut through VersaWorks and we're going to be using our Roland VG2540. So, the print, laminate, cut, the basics of it are you can, you can print your stickers, your logo, your vehicle graphics, you can laminate it and then you can put it back in afterwards to cut around whatever you want, whatever you laminated, whatever you want printing and, and, and designing. So what we'll do, you set your job up as normal, so you select what you want to do. In this case, we're going to use our Vinyl Guys badge. So double click to go into the job settings, and like I say, set your job up as normal. So you get your media whip, and at that point you can put how many copies you want. So for the, if we just do 110, and just for visual purposes, we'll make it a little bit equal. You can then in decrease your spacing as normal. 15 seems to be a bit high, so we'll do 4. Like I say, you're setting your job up as normal, choosing your quality. Most of the time you are going to be using a self-adhesive vinyl. Um, so for this case, just choose whatever, you, whatever vinyl profile you use, whether it be a manufacturer's profile or one of the generic ones built into VersaWorks. So you've set that up. You've set your quality. Now, the option down there is Mark you want to tick the crop mark box. Within VersaWorks 6, this will then put your crop marks around the job. They have added they have added a new function, which will allow you to place the crop marks, not only around the entire area, but you can do it for each row, or you can do it around each individual sticker or logo. It will be more time consuming, but depending on how much you trust your print and cut alignments, people tend to use that one. Me personally, I use the entire area. Um, unless you're doing meters and meters, you can you can separate it into separate jobs. So for now, we're going to tick that box. That will then put your crap marks around the entire job. And we need to remember in cut controls, we set to print only. Once we're happy, press OK. That then saves your job with the crap marks around it. And what we'll do now, we'll go to our VG2. We'll print it out, we'll laminate it, and then we'll come back and we'll do the cut setting. It is really important to remember, once you have printed the job, laminated it, you can no longer edit that job. If you edit the sizing, sizing of your design, um, you move anything for any reason, when it detects the crop marks, the cut will be completely thrown out. So just be warned that when you are doing the print laminate cut, once you've set all your settings, once you've printed and laminated it, you can no longer edit them settings. If you do, you have to start from scratch. So what we'll do now, we'll go to our VG2, we'll print it out and we'll get laminated. We've now printed our design that we designed in VersaWorks uh, and we've also put the crap marks on it. We're now going to laminate this job. If you're using EcoSilmax inks, the recommended gassing off time period is 24 hours. If you're using the Truvis uh, TR2 inks, that is a six hour application time. So now you can now print, laminate and cut within the same day. So we're gonna laminate this now. And then once we've done this, we're gonna put it back through the, the printer and we're gonna cut the stickers we've designed in VersaWorks. Once laminated, we've now put it back into our printer you need to ensure that the crop marks are inside the two end pin controllers. This will mean that the optical eye will be able to find the crop marks. What you need to do now is set the one crop mark with a little rectangle. That's the first one it needs to see first. We need to line that rectangle up with the cutting strip. The cutting strip, if you're not too sure, is this black strip there. That will then be in line with the optical eye. So we'll roll that back. Try and get it in that region somewhere. And once you're happy, you can then go to function, base point, enter. And that will save that as the new start point. Before you send your cut, obviously you want to make sure that you're cutting deep enough through the laminate and the vinyl itself without cutting through the backing sheet. My little tip is whatever you use for your standard vinyl, 
When you use the laminate, I'd always double the value and go from there. You never want to cut too deep to start with, um, just to protect the tip of your blade. Always double it and, and you can always increase it if needed. What you want, obviously, is to weed that away, the laminate and the vinyl come away without cutting the backing sheet. So that, to me, that test cut is successful. So now we're ready to go. We want to send the cut over and we want to cut our stickers. So we close the front cover and we go back to our job settings. It's really important that once you've printed it, you, cr you do not change the job at all. The only thing you're changing is from print only to cut only. If you change the size of the material, if you change the size of the job, it will find the crop marks, but it will, it will throw out your cut lines. So all you're doing is going back into your job, select cut only, press OK. And then we will print that job. And as you see what it will do, the cutting head will come out, it will detect the first crop mark and it will then proceed to find the next four. So the one on the left, the one on the top left and the one on the top right. So I roll it forward, it will find the top left. And once it has done this, it will then start to proceed to cut your stickers. If it fails, Reset it and try again.